Hi everyone, welcome to Dundas Dashboard How-To Videos. This video is on real-time dashboards. This video will demonstrate how to successfully turn a static dashboard into a real-time dashboard that will show change in data. Real-time dashboards are great for showing continuous change without the need to manually refresh the dashboards. Now, let's get started. Our dashboard is a simple line chart that shows value over time. As we can tell, the chart is static. Let's look at the database that our chart is connected to. This is the database that the chart is connected to and what we're going to do is change and add values. Although for most cases, the additional data will be automatic but for demonstration purposes, we'll do it manually. As you can see, our data has changed in our database, but our dashboard did not. Currently, the only way for us to see the difference is to refresh the dashboard manually. So let's reopen the dashboard. And now, the new data points appear. In most cases, we wouldn't want to manually reopen the dashboard every time the data has changed or we have a hunch the data has been updated. So what we need to do is enable data refresh on controls that will record the data and refresh the visualization. Let's edit the dashboard and see how we would set that up. Let's right click on our chart and select data information. This will show a list of KPIs that are attached to this control. We want to configure every KPI settings for those series that we want to enable the data refresh. Meaning the data refresh has to be enabled for every single series on every single control individually. In our case, we have only one. So let's configure its settings. A pop-up will appear we would want to check off the enable data refresh and set the desired time interval of how often the recurring will occur. Let's add hours to every three seconds. Warning, performance issues can arise depending on the time interval selected and the number of data refresh enabled as the system will need to do major quartering in short durations. Click Next and Finish. Save, check in, and let's view this dashboard in action. Again, we're going to add new data Notice how the dashboard got updated on its own without having us to manually reopen the dashboard. For more information on what we discussed in this video can be found on our support site support.dondas.com. Some key articles are shown on the screen now. Please feel free to visit them and read up on the information. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please visit our support site at support.dondas.com or contact us by email or by phone, which are shown on the screen. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos.